Welcome to the F5 VNF Manager tutorial for upgrading your Big IP VE in the VNF group. You can upgrade both VNF and DAG groups, but in this video we will show you how to upgrade your VNF group from running Big IP VE 13.1.0.5 to Big IP VE 13.1.0.7. For beginning this upgrade, you must upload the new Big IP VE image to your VIM project. For this demo, I will use the OpenStack VIM and the upgrade version BigIPVE 13.1.0.7. Because this workflow creates a copy of the VNF group being upgraded, including all layers, you will need sufficient virtual CPU and storage capacity to temporarily sustain two VNF groups. Otherwise, your upgrade workflow will fail. Manually upgrading involves executing a series of five workflows. The Upgrade Start workflow defines the group you are upgrading and the new image to which you are upgrading that group. The Upgrade workflow creates a copy of the group being upgraded and all its associated layers. This copy is running the new Big IPVE image we, I defined in the Upgrade Start workflow. Admin State Disable workflow bleeds new traffic off of the original VNF group being upgraded. The Scale In workflow destroys the older version running the old version of Big IPVE and the Upgrade Finish clears the upgrade definition form I used to define the newer image. Open your VNF Manager, click the Deployments blade, click the VNF Group deployment you want to upgrade. At the top of the window, click Execute Workflow and then click Upgrade Start. In the Upgrade Start pop-up window in the Data text box, enter the dictionary parameter in JSON format for the VNF group you want to upgrade using the image ID for the new image to which you want to upgrade. In this case, it would be big IP 13.1.0.7-0.0.1.all underscore one slot. It is important to remember that the image value is case sensitive and must match the image name as it appears in your VIM project. In the revision number, increment that value by at least one, leave all other default values and then click execute. This workflow defines the image to which you want to upgrade the selected group. To verify the status of this workflow, click the VNF group deployment and scroll down to the deployment execution pane and in the upgrade start workflow row, the status column should display complete. On the deployment blade, click the VNF layer deployment you want to upgrade and then at the top of the window, find the layer ID and copy it to the clipboard. Click the deployments blade again, click the group you are upgrading Click Execute Workflow and then click Upgrade. On the pop-up window in the Deployment ID text box, paste the deployment ID of the layer you just copied to the clipboard and then click Execute. This upgrade workflow creates a copy of the group and all layers within that group running the new version of the big IP image defined previously. To verify the status of this workflow, scroll down to the Deployment Executions pane and in the Upgrade Workflow row, the status column should display complete. At this point, you will want to leave both VNF layers running to verify that the upgraded copy is running successfully. The duration will vary depending upon your organization's standard operating procedures. If you experience problems with the upgraded layer, you can roll back the upgrade by running the admin state disable workflow on the new upgraded copy of the VNF layer. Once you determine that your upgraded layer is running successfully, Click the Deployments blade, click the VNF layer you are upgrading. At the top of the window, click Execute Workflow and then click Admin State Disable. This workflow bleeds new traffic off the older VNF group being upgraded and moves new traffic to the newly upgraded copy of the VNF group. Allow enough time for existing transactions to complete before executing the next scale-in workflow. To verify the status of this workflow, click the VNF layer deployment and scroll down to the Deployment Executions pane and in the Admin State Disabled Workflow row, the status column should display complete. Next, we'll scale in the old layer by defining the deployment ID for the old layer using JSON format. To find the layer ID of the old layer you are scaling in, click the Deployments blade, click the VNF group being upgraded, scroll down to the Nodes pane, click the Layer ID row, and the old layer will appear first in the list. Return to the Deployments blade, Search for that layer ID, click that layer, and at the top of the window, copy the deployment ID. To scale in the old VNF layer, on, click the deployments blade, click the old VNF layer running the old version of Big IP. At the top of the window, click 
execute workflow. Select scale in and at the pop-up window, enter the deployment ID you copied for the old layer using JSON format and then click execute. This workflow will destroy the old layer running the old version of Big IP. To verify the status of this workflow, click the VNF layer deployment and scroll down to the deployment executions pane and in the scale in workflow row, the status column should display complete. Return to the deployments blade and verify that you are now running only one VNF group. Next, we will execute the upgrade finish workflow. Turn to the deployments blade, click the VNF group deployment you are upgrading. At the top of the window, click execute workflow and then click upgrade finish. On the execute workflow upgrade finish pop-up window, leave all default values and then click execute. Scroll down to the Deployment Executions pane and in the Upgrade Finish Workflow row, the status column should display complete. Launch your OpenStack environment, click the Instances tab, and see that your new layer is running the newer version of Big IPVE. Thank you for watching the F5 VNF Manager tutorial for upgrading the Big IPVE.